In the last few months, the price of Shiba and us has been going up and down like a yo-yo. The last time we did this, the price of sheep was going up, and most of that was because Shibarium had been updated. But things seemed to be getting better, and that was because of a different change. This video is important, so make sure to watch it all the way through. Disclaimer. First, let's learn more about the Shibarium update, which the Shiba Inu community has been looking forward to for a long time. Shibarium is a Layer 2 network made up of Shiba and us that claims to be more scalable and efficient. It's meant to change the environment in a big way. But, despite the original excitement, its launch has been delayed, and the lack of updates has left many people wondering when the Shibarium testnet, which is called PuppyNet, will show how powerful and efficient it is by reaching a number of important milestones. But the mainnet start has been put off more than once. Originally, it was supposed to happen in 2022. Then it was moved to early 2023, and we still don't know when it will come out. Investors and holders are worried because they don't have enough knowledge. Analysts think that the lack of information about when Shibarium will be released could be hurting the price of Shiba Inu. Block says that 86% of sheep owners are currently underwater, which means that their holdings are worth less than what they paid for them. Just 11% are making money. Also, 79% of sheep holders are whales or people with big wallets. If people who are losing money decide to sell, it could have a big effect on the price of sheep. Many people in the Shiba Inu community are looking forward to the start of Shibarium because it could give the project new energy and good feelings. But the delay and lack of information have made investors nervous, which has made them angry. If you found this information useful, please leave a review and tell your friends about this video. Engagement helps us with YouTube's algorithm and keeps us motivated to keep making good material. Shiba Inu doesn't just have to deal with the delay and Shibarium, though. The Sheep Burn app has been taken down by Twitter, which is another defeat. Many of you already know that Sheep Burn is a third-party app that has helped burn Shiba Inu tokens every day since it came out. The point of burning tokens is to lower the number of tokens in circulation, making them harder to get and possibly raising the price of sheep. Sheep Burn has been using up more than a million tokens every day. Shiba Inu's coin economy was changed in a big way by this. But Twitter just stopped letting the sheep burn. This burning has been stopped by the Twitter account. Kyburn says he followed Twitter's rules, so it's not clear why he was suspended. Concerns have been made about future burns and the price of sheep because of how quickly the app was taken down. It's important to remember that when powerful people get involved in the crypto market, it can have a big effect on the prices of coins. One of these important people is Elon Musk, who is the CEO of Tesla and SpaceX. Musk has talked about cryptocurrencies on his Twitter account in the past. Elon Musk recently made news when he called out a Twitter bot account that was linked to a meme coin called Bob. Musk said that the account was a scam and said it would be shut down. As a result, Bob's price fell by as much as 45%. This event is a good lesson of how Elon Musk can affect the crypto market with his tweets and how he can pump and dump tokens. When Musk worked with the Bob token bot in the past, its value went up. But his recent comments caused the bot account to be shut down. This shows how dangerous it can be to depend only on the power of important people in the crypto space. Because of Elon Musk's power, it's important for Shiba Inu fans and investors to stay alert and pay attention to what he does and says. Even though his participation can sometimes be good for a token, it can also cause the price to change quickly and be volatile. As we deal with the problems Shiba Inu is facing, it's important to keep in mind the bigger picture of the crypto market and how powerful people like Elon Musk could affect it. The Kyburn team has told the community that burn efforts are still going on, even though the Twitter account has been shut down. But because people can't share information about burns on Twitter, it's harder for the community to track and keep an eye on the process. We don't know yet how this ban will affect the price of sheep in the long run. The decrease in burns could slow the token's rise and add to the problem Shiba Inu is already facing. As for the economy as a whole, experts are warning of a possible slowdown in the United States, which could have effects all over the world. One of the biggest banks in the world, HSBC, recently said that the US economy could take a dip, 
which would be followed by a year of falling prices. HSBC also thinks that Europe will go through a slump after the West does. If these predictions come true and the US and Europe are going for a recession, the market and cryptocurrencies could crash hard soon. Given the things that affect the price of sheep right now, a slump in major economies could make things even worse for Shiba Inu. As investors, it's important to think about how a slowdown could affect the crypto we own. During times of economic uncertainty, it's important to look at the market as a whole and make choices based on what you know. What would you do with your Shiba and us if there was a recession? In the comments part below, please tell us what you think. Also, since we're talking about HSBC, I have some good news. HSBC, the biggest bank in Hong Kong, has made a big change by letting its clients buy Bitcoin and Ethereum exchange traded funds, or Fs. This is a big deal because HSBC is the first bank in Hong Kong to allow ETF trading. This makes it easier for Hong Kong people to buy and sell cryptocurrencies. With Bitcoin and Ethereum ETF, HSBC is giving buyers in the Hong Kong market more ways to invest in digital assets. At the moment, buyers can look at cryptocurrency ETF like the CSOP, Bitcoin Futures ETF, CSOP, Ethereum Futures ETF, and Samsung Bitcoin Futures Active ETF. Earlier, there were rumors that Hong Kong's government was trying to get HSBC and Standard Charter to take on crypto clients. Because of worries about money laundering and possible involvement in illegal actions, banks have been careful. But HSBC's move to let people trade ETF shows that they are changing how they do things. Along with Bitcoin and Ethereum exchange traded funds, Fs, HSBC has also opened the Virtual Asset Investor Education Center. Wu told this news on Twitter, saying, at the same time, HSBC opened the Virtual Asset Investor Education Center. This is what Wu told Chinese media when they called. Before investing in any virtual asset-related goods through the HSBC Invest app, investors need to read the educational materials and risk disclosures in the Virtual Asset Investor Education Center and make sure they are correct. HSBC, HK Mobile Banking App and Web Banking The fact that HSBC opened the Virtual Asset Investor Education Center shows how serious they are about giving buyers who are interested in virtual assets education and information about risks. This project's goal is to make sure that investors are well-informed and aware of the possible risks of investing in digital assets before they make any investment choices. Recent changes at HSBC show that cryptocurrencies are becoming more accepted and integrated into the financial industry as more companies and banks start to use them. It will be interesting to see how this affects the Bitcoin market and how virtual assets are used by more people. Our video for today is over. We hope this long report on Shibarium, the Shibarium suspension, and the possibility of a world recession was helpful to you. Insightful. Keep in mind that keeping up to date